Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you my wash day routine, specifically for my curly styling, not for my straight hair routine. I don't have an intro for you guys today so let's get straight into this video. Right, so I'm starting off with a really old crusty, <laughs> I don't even know what it is, um, probably a twist out or a braid out. And I'm just starting off by wetting my hair, trying to get it fully saturated before I go in with the shampoo. It doesn't take my hair too long to get wet like I know some people who have low porosity hair it will probably take them a little bit more time for their hair to get fully saturated and once it's fully wet I go in with the shampoo I'm using the OGX coconut miracle oil shampoo today and I'm applying that shampoo to my roots only I don't use shampoo on the ends of my hair unless I am straightening my hair or if I feel like my hair is really dirty then I will take the shampoo all the way down to my ends this is the first time I'm using the coconut miracle oil one yeah, I really don't mind using this brand for their shampoo and conditioners. I've used a few different variations of them and not really been mad at the result, so yeah. I don't really spend a lot on my shampoo and conditioner just because it runs out pretty quick and I'm always having to buy more. And all I really need for my shampoo is to clarify my scalp but not dry it out at the same time. And these shampoos seem to do a pretty good job at that, so yeah, I guess I recommend this shampoo. So yeah, I'm just massaging that shampoo into my scalp. And I always shampoo a second time because, as you can see, it doesn't lather up well enough on the first go. So I just rinse that out and apply more shampoo for the second time to get some really good lathering action going on. And again, I'm just focusing on the roots to try and get that squeaky clean because we need that healthy, clean scalp for healthy hair growth. And I'm making sure to just use my fingertips, not my fingernails, because I don't want to damage my scalp. And I like to add the shampoo in different sections of my hair. So I will apply it to both sides of my head at the front, both sides at the back, and I apply separately to the middle as well. Because my hair is thick and sometimes the shampoo doesn't spread to the middle of my scalp. It just makes it easier for me to know that my whole head is getting a good scrubbing. And I also spread the shampoo down the hair shaft a little bit. And for my ends, I'm taking my Holy Grail Herbal Essences Hello Hydration Conditioner. I've been using this since I was a teenager and it really just does the job so yeah I really like this conditioner for a co-wash so I just applied that conditioner to my ends and yeah, just co-wash the ends a little bit and I'm going in with my scalp massager to really get in there and clarify my scalp and also to stimulate my roots which increases the blood flow to the scalp which aids to hair growth too. I wasn't really a fan of this scalp massager because I felt like the teeth weren't long enough to get into the thickness of my hair. So I did go ahead and buy a new scalp massager which had longer teeth so that it can reach. I actually think this is a styling brush, not a scalp massager. So maybe I'll test it out to see if it actually is a good brush for styling. This scalp massager is a Denman one, but um, the one I recently bought is off Amazon. So once I'm done with that, I rinse it all out, making sure to not leave any residue of the shampoo. And then I go ahead and take some more of that Herbal Essences conditioner to start the detangling process. Nobody wants to see these breastfeeding babies. I promise. So for the detangling process, I part my hair into four sections to make it more manageable when detangling. And then I take some more of that conditioner on each section so that I can have a lot of slip when detangling so I don't break my hair. And then I start with finger detangling a little bit before I go in with my detangling tools. In this video I used my wide tooth comb and this was before I got my easy detangler brush. So nowadays I use my easy detangler brush but the wide tooth comb is fine. I've used it throughout my whole natural journey and it's never really failed me. So yeah just go in with whatever detangling tool works well for your hair and apply more conditioner or water if it's needed. And this is why I like to use a cheap conditioner because I use a lot of conditioner when I'm detangling my hair because I just need to have as much slip as possible so that the detangling process is a breeze. I do have a detangling and deep conditioning video up on my channel where I use my easy detangler brush. So you can check that video out if you like. I'll leave it in the description box below. So yeah, just taking my time to detangle each section thoroughly. And I also do part it off into smaller sections just to make it more manageable. So I'm not struggling to detangle my hair. And once I've finished detangling each section, I go ahead and twist it up so that it doesn't get tangled again. 
I do end up taking the twist out after I finish the tangling, so it's not really necessary for me to twist my hair once I'm done with each section. But I like to do it so that the sections that I've already detangled don't become tangled again. So yeah, just slowly detangling, working from the ends to the roots. And if your hair is really knotty, don't go straight in with the comb. Try and finger the tangle even more because that will help the comb glide more easily through the hair. So on a normal wash day, I would usually keep the twist in, rinse the conditioner out while the twists are still in my hair, and then take them down to apply the deep conditioner and then twist them back up. But I wanted to record my rice water routine as well. So I just went ahead and washed out the conditioner, put my hair in a bun, and went off camera to, well, not off camera, but off to another camera to record my rice water routine. And that will be up on my channel very soon. So if you're interested in seeing that video, subscribe to my channel. It will be up very soon. So I'm back after leaving the rice water in for 30 minutes. And I'm just taking my hair down and rinsing that thoroughly out of my hair. Because, you know, rice water is fermented and I don't want to leave any residue of that on my scalp or my hair. And my rice water doesn't smell too funky, but it also does have a very weird smell. So I don't want to leave any of that in my hair. So once I finally rinsed out the rice water, I went ahead and put in my deep conditioner. This time I'm using the OGX Coconut Miracle Oil Hair Mask as my nourishing deep conditioner. And I'm applying that all over my hair and sectioning my hair off into four parts again and applying more product to each section as well. I use just enough product to fully cover my hair. I don't like to waste products <laughs> and also using too little is not going to be effective so yeah. This mask was just okay. I don't know if I would buy this one again and I do like to use the full line of products like you know shampoo, conditioner and deep conditioner. Oh and yeah I do add coconut oil onto each section as well just to add even more moisture to my deep conditioner. The deep conditioners are a bit iffy for me and I only have a few that I would buy over and over again. And so yeah, I'm in the process of actually trying out different deep conditioners at the moment so that I can review them on here. So um, yeah, this one's a no for me. <laughs> I don't know, it just didn't feel like it did a great job. It was just okay. And if I'm gonna spend more money on a product, it would be my deep conditioners. I do like some of the sheer moisture deep conditioners. I really do see and feel a difference when I use those. But there's also a good do grow one that I use. It's the mega growth one that I really, really like and probably will <laughs> revert to at some point. So yeah, I'm just putting the deep conditioner all over my hair, putting the coconut oil on top of that and then retwisting them back. And again, this is so that my hair doesn't tangle back up. And I leave that deep conditioner in for about half an hour or more. I usually use my deep conditioning cap. I have no idea why I didn't use it in this video. I probably didn't have it on hand. But yeah, anyway, um, use your deep conditioner cap. It locks in the heat and it makes the deep conditioner work even better. And I also left the deep conditioner in for only 15 minutes because I wanted to wrap the video up. So once the 30 minutes is up, I once again take the twist down and rinse my hair out. And I really try to focus this on my roots because I tend to get a residue build up if I don't wash my deep conditioner off, off my scalp thoroughly. On a normal day, I don't wash my hair in the shower. It's only sometimes I wash my hair in the shower, usually if I don't have all day to deep condition my hair. So with this routine, I just leave it in for half an hour while I'm in the shower, rinse it out and then apply my conditioner. And then I'm taking the OGX Coconut Miracle Conditioner and I'm applying that all over my hair. And it shouldn't be tangled at this point at all. So my fingers are just gliding through. 
And then I section my hair off again and brush it through with my Denman brush. This time just to get my curls to clamp together more so it's easier for styling. I used to use my Denman brush for detangling but it really does a terrible job for me. It just gets stuck in my hair so I've stopped using it for detangling and more for styling. And then once I'm done combing it through with the brush I twist it back up again. And I leave the conditioner on for five minutes and then I rinse it out. But this time I leave the twist in when I'm rinsing and really just focusing on the roots, making sure there's nothing on the roots. Really and truly, I want to keep some of that conditioner in my hair. So this is why I rinse it while it's in the twists. So once I've finished drowning from rinsing off my roots in that awkward way, I just squeeze out the excess water and usually I would just throw the towel over my head and get on with the styling process. I do have my wash and go routine on my channel, my braid out, and I have an upcoming twist out routine video. So that will be coming up on my channel soon as well. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see any more videos like this from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.